Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Good morning. I'm Tim Van Orden with the Running Raw Project. And I'm on my way to Boston Logan Airport right now so that I can fly west and give some talks. I had to leave my house at 2.45 a.m. and make the long three-hour trip in the dark. And for the first hour of that trip, I only passed one car. And then as I got further and further into Massachusetts, I passed two, then three, then four. But it was still a rarity because it's early Sunday morning, Easter morning, and nobody's on the roads. What I noticed is that if I look directly at the headlights, I can't see the road in front of me because the difference in brightness between the oncoming headlights and the road is so great that my eyes or brain can't process both at the same time. The dynamic range is just too great. So what I had to do for most of this drive, whenever I would pass a car, is look off to the right side of the road. I would have to look at the white line on the right side of the road and just focus on that white line because it was brighter than the pavement and it was keeping my eyes away from the oncoming lights. So I would just see them in my peripheral vision to the left. And that way I could focus on the road and stay on the road and not have this, you know, squint, try to, where's the road? I can't see it. When I passed the fifth or sixth car and had to do this again, I started thinking about this, about people and their light. Because here I am on my journey, on my path, and it's predominantly dark. 99% of my drive this morning was in the dark, dimly lit by my headlights. But every now and then it was punctuated by brightness from another person in a car coming and shining a light into my life. We're often on our path in the darkness, alone, we're not happy, we're miserable, we don't like our life, we don't like our job, we don't like our body. There are many things that we're not happy with in life. So here comes this oncoming light, here comes this brightness, here comes this beautiful person, this person that is beaming or high beaming. And we're like, wow, look at that person, they're so bright, they're so beautiful. And we get mesmerized by this light. And instead of looking at our path, we look at their light and we look so intently in the light that we can no longer see our path. We lose our way. And this can cause us to get into accidents. This can cause us to make mistakes. This can cause us to go off the road. And often what happens is we're driving on the path, but the car oncoming isn't moving at all. Maybe it's stuck. Maybe it's static. Maybe it's just parked with the lights on. We come across people that aren't moving, they aren't growing, they aren't developing. They're just sitting there in the dark with their high beams on. And we're like, ooh, look at the light, look at the light, like a moth going into the flame, going into its own demise because it's mesmerized by the light. But if we could see it from their perspective, our lights would be just as bright as theirs. But we can't see our light. We only see the road that they illuminate, and that's never as bright as the light itself because our light is spread out. So we judge this person as somehow better than us because their light is clearly brighter than ours. Look at me just traveling through the darkness and wow, look how bright that person is. They're so beautiful. They're so amazing. And we start attaching all these stories which are not really appropriate or realistic because that person's traveling in the dark too. But had I just stayed on my path and focused on the white line on the right side of the road and not directly engage the oncoming light, Eventually, because in this case I'm driving east, the sun would rise. And when the sun rises, everyone is equally illuminated. And you see that we're all lit by the same light. Because you're not looking at the lights coming out of the front of the car, you're now looking at a world that's illuminated by a greater light. And we are all equal in that greater light. Every car is of equal brightness. Every person is of equal brightness in that light. You're going to be traveling down your road, down your path, and it's going to be dark, and it's going to be lonely, and it's going to be scary, and you're going to see lights, and you're going to want to jump, or you're going to see somebody on YouTube making videos, perhaps like me, and wow, look at this person, they're so amazing, look at their light, I'm just going to stop right here and look at their light instead of following my path, because my path is horrible and it's in the darkness, but look at all this light this person has. And we compare ourselves. They're prettier than me. They're thinner than me. They're smarter than me. They're more charismatic than me. They've got a better voice than me. Whatever the comparison is, whatever the story is that we attach to that light, without realizing that our lights are just as bright, we get stuck. We get stopped. We can't see our path anymore. 
So focus on your path. Don't look directly at the light because it's an illusion anyways. And if you keep heading east, you'll eventually get to daylight and then you'll see the truth that we are all equally illuminated. And you'll get to see a greater picture that won't be as scary because the sun is up and the world is alive. Safe travels and keep your eye on the road. All right. Bye.